And so, hi, welcome back. We are doing uh, C++, basic C++ for OpenFOAM. And uh, this video, again, is for people who have already talked about OpenFOAM, um, uh, have some experience, and then uh, they want to know how to read these uh, C files. For example, IcoFOAM uh, and all that. So, let's see whether we can actually read our IcoFOAM so far. We know what this include things mean. These are different libraries, okay? And int main, that's like the main function, uh, all right? The main uh, executable, and we see the return zero at the end. And of course, um, if we were to uh, take a look at some of these lines, for example, you'll start to notice that, hey, end line here is pretty, um, pretty standard. We know that that means, okay, uh, we want to start some time loop and we see that being printed out in uh, the use of IcoFoam if you are very familiar with that so uh, these are all print functions so at least we start to understand what these things are about but let's say this and this no, we still have a long way to go All right. so that's just a kind of a check to see our understanding of this uh, C++ code or C code All right. so again in the last video I show you this thing called the Reynolds calculator. So again, it tells the user, hey, I want to specify some velocity, some density, some uh, dynamic viscosity, and some characteristic length. And then it gives you a Reynolds number. So it's a very simple kind of a function. So um, it gives you a row, u, d, and mu. So let's see whether it's calculating correctly. So we just take our calculator out. So it's in Chinese, so I wonder why. But um, okay, again, no matter, four times seven times the density divided by 0 0.2222. And it's about 126012. So 126013, so that's actually just rounded up. That's uh, fine by me. It's good enough for the purposes of this video. Now the question is how how would you how would one actually um, get this function running? So this is the this is the main file I actually used. All right, but um, let me let me start from a new file. Then you'll be able to see what's actually going on. So Reynolds not C plus plus. Okay. So again, we need our basic things. So we have to include IO stream. Okay. And of course, you want to include our most basic libraries we talked about in the last videos. A string. I mean, you don't actually need all of these, but this is just nice to put it down so that we can use it as and when we need to. CMath. Okay. Next thing is the namespace, all right? So namespace, where do we find it? All right, um, let me save and quit. We always want to have our namespace. So using namespace std, standard, uh, if I'm not wrong, Reynolds C++, oops, sorry. vi Reynolds.c++. So use, all right. You using namespace std semicolon and we have an int main and open and closed brackets and of course we need to have a return zero this is a very basic file every C++ should more or less have this kind of a structure though of course this icoform i don't see the uh, i'm not sure where this namespace thing is listed but uh, at least we have libraries and everything there okay yeah we can't i mean we can't see it in this file anyway where's this namespace but uh, as basic uh, in our basic tutorials we have namespace used everywhere so how do we calculate the reynolds number so first thing we want to define is variables. So row, u, d, and mu. 
all right these are uh, now I define them as double variables and okay let's uh, let's get uh, C++ to calculate the Reynolds number so I'll just put calculate Reynolds RE so uh, how do you calculate RE well uh, you just have a C in uh, C out okay okay what, what is it going to do it's going to have a row times u times d divided by mu and then we have an n line all right does the n line come with a semicolon i have to double check it usually does okay it does come with a semicolon i almost forgot my syntax all right so yeah it, it does come with a semicolon now what's the problem with this of course uh, you you don't uh, what do you call that there's no there's no row there's no value for row u and d so you know, let's 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 uh, ask the user to put in the row u and d for us input density in kg per meter cube so that's printing for the user to input row so c in row and then i'll need a semicolon there c out input then uh velocity in meter per second and line uh, c in u big u and now to semicolon again c out uh, input characteristic length in meter and line oh yes and I forgot to I should put this uh, inverted commas here okay Right, so I have to put inverted commas to uh, make sure all of these are strings, string variables, so they're print up properly. All right, and we have n line and semicolon, and then we'll have c in uh, d. So this is very basic. C out input dynamic viscosity in SI units all right and line okay so C in mu semicolon and you have a C out of this the Reynolds number so we can put in a very simple uh, script or simple print line that says the Reynolds number is it's very simple and then we'll quit save and quit let's see how it uh, runs so g plus plus reynolds number stop c plus plus with the output of re calc simple so re calc simple will be Put as follows so thousand so three length of one zero point two and then calculate a Reynolds number for you so there's not nothing too difficult about that but um, let's take a look at the I think I forgot the I here but uh, this is kind of inconsequential for us okay next thing we want to know is all right um, let's say the function let's say we want to uh, separate this out of the loop we don't want to have a row ud and mu here we want to you know in MATLAB we can if we have a uh, long calculations let's say there's a uh, vectors or something we want to separate this this piece out as a function how can we separate these things out as a function? Okay, 
So basically what you have to do is this. So this, this main file will always be executed, but if you add functions in, for example, let's say you want to have it return a double. Okay, so this is a double. Uh, Reynolds calc. So this is a function. And then we have a bracket, close bracket, and we will have this curly brackets closed also. So we'll need to have it return a value. So in this case, I will put say return, please return a Reynolds number. So when the Reynolds number is returned, that will give you this uh, double. Okay. So what do you need for this Reynolds number? You have row, u, d, and mu. Okay. So no, no need for any kind of a semicolon there. Okay, so uh, what do you do with the row u d and mu? So, our so we have a double. We declare a variable called double of our Reynolds number, and then we do a quick calculation, which is uh, Reynolds number equals to row times u times d divided by mu, and semicolon, and I ask the thing to return the Reynolds number. So instead of a uh, Doing this, I can run the function Reynolds calc row u d and mu. All right, and let's try running it as is like that, and see what happens. Of course, something will go wrong, but uh, yeah, something will go wrong, but. Uh, We'll we'll see what we'll see what happens. Okay, so um, I'll have to put the double here as well to actually call the function, and let's save and quit. So I'm I'm saying okay, I need a double of this. This is gonna give us a double number, and it should it should uh, okay. Let me write this. It should give us the Reynolds number. So. Reynolds number should equal this double number and then I should output this Reynolds number. Okay, so let's try and see what happens. So let's G++ this uh, Reynolds calculator. Uh, so uh, let's take a look. Reynolds C++ in function int main. It says Reynolds is not declared in this scope. Okay. So we need to declare Reynolds as a double first. So this, let's put it here, double of this. So always declare your variables as such. So let's try G++ again. So now um, we have solved the, uh, we have solved the declaration of Reynolds number, but we have another error. It said expected primary expression before double. Okay, so maybe maybe this shouldn't have a double here. So let's get rid of that double. We don't need to define it as a double. Okay, since we already kind of define it as a define Reynolds number as a double. So let's see, G plus plus. Ah, now now we have this error. It says Reynolds calculator was not declared in this scope. Okay. What is, so C++ is saying, I don't know what the Reynolds uh, calculator is. Why is that so? No, well, normally in MATLAB, you can just put the, put the function over here. Uh, here, you have to tell C++ uh, first what, uh, what is the function. So again, C++ is going to read three libraries, and it's going to use this uh, include uh, namespace, and then it's going to execute this bit of code. So this... C++ understands we are declaring variables then this all of this we are just inputting things and then suddenly we say the Reynolds number is equals to some Reynolds calculator and it's like what what is this Reynolds calculator you don't understand so there needs to be some kind of a placeholder on top so that C++ knows what yet what this Reynolds calculator you're trying to tell it is talking about so uh, in the earlier ones it's very simple instead of a uh, 
um, this one's a bit different. So you can just say uh, either void because uh, void does not give you any, uh, it does not need a return or anything like that. So um, this is also a function, but it doesn't need, it doesn't return any kind of value. But I use the double to actually return us a, a double value, which is a decimal value. So okay, I will need to write double of this. Reynolds double row, double u, double mu, double d. Okay, so let me copy this. Or rather, let me just go to the other side. We are Reynolds. Okay. So I need to write it here. Double Reynolds calc. Okay, double row double u, double d, double mu. And then I'll need to semicolon it here because I'm not doing anything. And over here, I will need to write the same things. Double row, double d, double u, double d, double mu. This is declaring the variables. Okay, so this is how it, uh, how to solve it. So now, now we tell, okay, C++, there is this double function. There's this Reynolds calculator function, which returns a double number. And this Reynolds calculator is uh, supposed to take in um, for, for, uh, what call, for, for variables, row, u, d, and mu. So it will take in, in um, it will take in this for variables, which are given by the user. And then it will push out a Reynolds number, and then we will try and print it out. Okay, so let's see how this works. So again, uh, looks like looks like everything runs properly. Let's try try to run re count simple. So let's say thousand, uh, one, length of one, zero point two. So you say you see we gave the Reynolds number of. 5,000. It kind of uh, puts puts everything the same way. So this is how we, uh, this is a, just a basic introduction to functions. Okay, so we have made a Reynolds calculator. Alright, so just a recap of what we have done. Normally we try to say, okay, we want to calculate some Reynolds number. So that's just simple math. But if we want to uh, write this uh, math as a function, that, and this function just takes in rho, u, d, and mu, and then spits out a Reynolds number uh, as a double, this is what we need to do. We need to define the function as follows. Okay, at the bottom. We define the function as follows at the bottom. But um, we can't just do that. We also need to... Uh, put this function at the. Uh, you need to tell C plus plus. Hey, this there is such a function that exists, and this is what it needs to take in. So once C plus plus reads this, I was like, okay, um, I know this exists. So let me go and look in the rest of the code for what this is, and then it looks in the rest of the code and says, okay, this uh, function exists here, and this is what I'm supposed to do. So when C plus plus reads the int main, the main uh, the main uh, file. It's going to see double, um, it's going to declare variables, it's going to print this and ask for outputs, and then it's going to say the Reynolds number is, and then it's going to calculate the Reynolds number by calling the function Reynolds calculator with uh, these double variables, and then it's going to store this value inside RE here. And once RE is stored, you store the value in RE, it's going to spit out it's going to print out this uh, Reynolds number as a double value, okay? And it's going to end it by calling this return zero. That's all. Uh, that's a basic recap of functions. I mean, you should have been uh, very familiar in MATLAB if you've done functions before. So this is just some recap, and you're just say changing the syntax from maybe MATLAB or VB or some other code or Python to C++. So that's what this video is talking about uh, with the example of a Reynolds number uh, function. Of course, in the next video, we will want to uh, do more things 
and uh, stay tuned. I'll see you guys next time.